All right, what's up, y'all? It's 202 Wink, your favorite help desk tech. And you already see the title of the video. Man, we're talking about resumes. And I'm not coming to play with y'all. Like, this is actually my resume. This is the resume that got me this job. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. This is for the new text. It could be for, uh, even if you've already been in it, but mainly for the new text because, like I say, the reason why I do these videos is because when I first started about, well, it took me two years to get a tech job after I graduated. So, either way, though, like I said, when I first, uh, when I was looking for jobs and stuff and looking online trying to see how I should prepare myself, it wasn't nothing really out there. Like, there was a, uh, then there started to be a few Cave Tech, Cave Tech videos. Shout out to Cave Tech. It was a few of those videos out when, uh, like, right before I even started working here. So, either way, let's just get straight into it. So, you're new, you new to IT. You're trying to get your foot in the door and all that, right? First things first. Before anything, one, get some type of experience. Even if, if even if it's just schooling. I'm, not, I'm talking about no certifications. Even if it's just schooling, start applying. If you do not have your certification, that does not matter. Start applying. You never know who will take a chance on you. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know. You just never know. I'm telling you. So, first things first, start applying. Don't wait. Number two, get the resumes together. Let's say you have no IT experience outside of school. And I keep saying outside of school because school is, is you at least need, at least need, dang. You at least need schooling as some type of experience. That's like ground level, Okay. So let's do the resume format as well. So when it comes to the resume, of course, you need your first and last name. Uh, then you need your address. You will need your phone number and your email address because that's how they're going to contact you. That's why you put it right here at the top. Now, in the first little section, you're going to just go ahead and do a brief summary of what you have experience in. For example, I don't know if I'm going to try to like put this in the link or whatever, but like I told you, like this resume sent me on plenty of job interviews and it got me this job here. So I'm gonna read mine just to let y'all know. As well as when you're going on jobs, we're gonna get into that deeper. And when you're going on these job interviews, you already filled out the application. So they already told you the stuff that you need to know. So, you know, let's kind of like, you know, tweak that to fit and make sense. Anyways, when it comes to your little brief summary about you, just sum up your experiences okay this is not to be telling people how old you are or none of that you know what i'm saying for example i'll just read mine so you can already know what's up <clears throat> six years of experience in customer service three years of experience in information technology and six years of experience in maintenance y'all know i've been cleaning like a mug when i first started working any job i was cleaning but in maintenance offering skills and technical support software troubleshooting and great organization skills i guess i meant to put organizational skills either way great organization skills experience in microsoft applications hard working and dependable so i did talk about myself as being hard working and dependable but not the fact that i'm 25 and like crab cakes you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm getting at now the next slot will be your experience now that's what i was just talking to y'all about excuse me let me go get my water now that's just what i was talking to y'all about let me get some this one I wasn't being sloppy. I don't know what's wrong with the side. But yeah, so that's what I've been talking about. When you making when you're going for these jobs, this is the this is the whole kill about all this stuff. When you're going to apply for these jobs, the best practice that worked for me is going to the job description, reading the job description that I'm filling out and signing up for, and then where it says uh like what the duties will be that you'll know how to do or what you'll need experience in. Go ahead and put those on your recent jobs. Just go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? It's not, you know what I'm saying? Just go ahead. Or or if you did certain things, you might have to make it sound a little more technical. This is not wrong, for instance. Well, this first one is actually my, my actual job now because I had updated it once I got the job. So let's go to right before here. As well as uh, when you're doing your resume, you don't don't put all the job don't put the jobs that have nothing to do with anything on it like uh unless you can tweak it to make it sound technical that you did some type of technical stuff with it or you had some type of technical task with it so boom i got my internship here because that's what i was doing before i uh, worked here so boom 
I did my internship, which was part replacements, keyboards. I actually remember I only got to read screen replacements, building gaming computers, and all that. So I put all that on there, everything that I did. And when it came to ticketing things, because you got to keep track, we use something called QuickBooks. All right? So, and even if you don't know nothing about ticketing systems, go out, Google one, and learn it. Okay? You can learn it from a YouTube video. Uh, so that's what I did at Gadget, guys. Order computer parts, this and that. Now, before that, I actually was working at the airport. I mean, yeah. Okay, so to be honest, before this, I was working at, uh, before Gadget Guys, or during Gadget Guys, really, I was working for, uh, Met I was cleaning buses at Metro. I'm not going to put that on there because that means nothing. So, if you have to, like, maybe, I don't know, either not put it or rearrange some dates, then yeah. So either way, I was working at Terminex. Now, Terminex is when I was doing pest control. I was a termite technician. That doesn't sound technical, does it? No. But you have to call and set up appointments, and you have to do things on your phone, which made me say, I assisted in scheduling upcoming services. Yes. Responded to requests for telephone and in-person service calls. Yes. And completed requests for, uh, for production forms. Now, all that's good because that has to do with customer service. When you're in the IT field, you have to have good customer service. It's cool if you're good with technical, but you shouldn't be have. You should know how to talk to people, and treat people, and almost like, even if they like being real rude or something, either pass them off to somebody else or whatever. But you need to have good customer service. You can't just be rude and cursing people out like it's the streets. And look who's telling you that. You know what I'm saying? Look who's telling you that. Cause go back, go watch my videos. I, I curse a lot. I mean, I just recently stopped doing it or trying to stop, but me on the streets and me here, you got to learn how to like separate it because I know how I am on the Me here and me on the streets, two, two totally different people. I did a rant video that I deleted, but I was ranting on there. So, okay. all right, and that's what I was saying. Um, yeah, so uh, like I was saying though, and completed form. So it doesn't sound technical, but I pulled all the technical parts out. Because one, I'm going to people houses. That's still customer service. Two, scheduling things and dealing with phones and all that. That's still kind of technical. So that's the main thing. Even though being a termite technician wasn't a real technical job, you have to or you should. Like I keep saying, I don't know, I'm tweak. I used to work tweak. You might as well go ahead and tweak your resume to fit the job description. You already, in, <clears throat> excuse me, in reality, you already know what you get. You already know what you're talking about. You got experience. You just need to go out there and get it and show it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then I got when I was working at Walmart, which was 2015 to 2018. It was really, was it 2015 or was it 2016? Cause I was 18 turning 19. It don't matter. Uh, I had just turned 19 when I was working at Walmart. But either way, at Walmart, I was a, uh, I was a maintenance. I was I was maintenance. I cleaned up. Okay, but I will also. I would also work in, basically I got on here, maintenance slash electronics associate in Walmart, assisted in setting up computers for the training room, set up PCs and laptops for display, answer phones and assist customers with uh, packaging pickup. Okay, and I did actually, I did kind of do some of that too, but like I said, you pull out the technical roles in your jobs and put them on your resume so they can be displayed. Don't put nothing on it that don't really have nothing to do with technology. No one wants to know that you were a cashier and you were the fastest one there. You do not put that on there. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Now, as far as education, boom. You just go ahead and put all your education stuff. For me, okay, I got my high school diploma in 2014 as well as I took coding classes. I took a coding class and I took a computer graphics class. That's why I do all my own artwork and all that as well as I know a little bit about coding. So I threw that in there. And um, as far as just my skills, which are keywords, and some uh, some jobs have databases to go on resumes and just put out the ones with certain keywords. That's what comes. That's when that comes down to that job description too. Some of those keywords are in that job description, such as software installation, system upgrades, security backup and recovery, technical uh, and user documentation. Ticketing is a keyword. Microsoft applications, PC assembly. Those are the basics. Since I've been working here, I've learned a lot of more stuff. Like, I've dealt more with Active Directory. Yeah, I knew what it was, but I wasn't really dealing with it to be able to talk on it. As well as when you go on your interviews, which I have a, uh, have a video about that, when they ask you about certain things, the best bet, go ahead and refresh, like, the day before, just on, like, the basics, for real, because your interview is going to be the basics. You're going in for level one most of the time. 
Um, what else? Yeah, and just like I said, y'all, don't wait. Apply, apply, apply. Um, if you want, I'll send you this. Uh, I don't know if I want to do like a Google link. Well, maybe I'll like just go ahead, copy and paste, and create a little a fake one for y'all. Put down in the comments if you want one, and I'll just create the journal for you with the same type of information. Remember what I was saying though. Don't wait to apply. Don't wait to get your certification. Apply now. Apply now. You know what I'm saying? Tweak those resumes. Uh. If, you know, when they call the people to make sure you're good, go ahead and tell those people ahead of time because my job now definitely did call my resources or whatever and uh, to see, you know, to check up on if I, what I was saying was true. So they really do do that as well. So if you're going to say you work for somebody, make sure you call that person and let them know. And, uh, and yeah, y'all like, comment, subscribe, share. I hope y'all out there applying. I hope y'all out there going on interviews. Um don't take a job just because it's that job take it because you want it and you actually like it and the pay is good nothing worse than getting a little bit of pay at one job when you can be somewhere else getting the same thing um go ahead go get your technical experience man like comment subscribe share if i missed anything put it in the comments